All right, welcome back. So the next character we're going to do is Mortasio. Uh, and Mortasio starts with the bone. Um, I, I don't know what we're going to do. <sighs> Honestly, we might have to do the bone zone. So, Mortasio's weapon is the bone, which, from what I've heard, is supposed to be a really good weapon, um, especially as it scales up, but I don't know. Um, we'll take Rune Tracer. Unfortunately, the bone weapon does not... Um, just quick check to see what, uh, what we have available here. Um, unfortunately, the bone does not evolve at all, but it's supposed to scale up really well. So that's like the, the trade-off of it, I guess. Um, hmm. Just to cross. Need a large group of the small skeletons. So, this guy's sprite, I'm pretty sure, is ripped straight from uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And in that game, I'm gonna reroll. Cross. Um, in that game. You could summon an enemy that uh, summon a skeleton with a little halo on it. So I think that's where this guy's uh, sprite came from. That's obviously the reference, at least. I mean, this entire game is just one giant reference to Castlevania, especially Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um. Yeah, we'll take Bone. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get Laurels, and I'd like to get... Um... Laurels and the Clock Lancelet, if we can. Assuming we can even, you know, survive that long. I mean, we'll see. Hopefully we can kind of nice to actually show off more of the bone zone. Clock Lancelet. So I don't, I'm pretty sure we've seen the clock, the clock Lancelet at some point in this uh, series, but I don't usually take it very often. Okay, so we're going to want to go north first. Or at least that would be the more ideal way to go. Duplicator, I think, is a smart choice. Because as we've already seen, um, Clocklands, uh, the uh, gold and silver rings spell out where with Clock Lancelet. So, and that's a reference to Symphony of the Night as per everything else in, in this game. Um, I do want to still pick, go back and pick up some XP because we're going to need it. It's going to get really hectic in here. Um, 
I'll take Bracer, because that will still benefit us. And honestly, we do want to fill out the, the passive items as much as we can. Since the, um, the items that we can pick up off the ground will just add. Hey guys, can't we just uh, talk about this? Oop. Guess not. From one skeleton to another, I think we should be able to talk about this. Let's take bone. More projectiles is always good. Well, more ch more of our projectiles. Best not to take uh, random pot shots. Um, then we take a tractor because that'll help us get more XP or pick up the XP around us. Ooh. Unfortunately, we can't kill those skulls very easily. Um, from what I understand, Bone is supposed to be really good when leveled up. So I'm going to kind of prioritize picking up Bone whenever possible. Ow. Yeah, that's the... Okay, that's... Fine. Clock Lens is actually one of the few things that doesn't get affected by the duplicator at all. Only things that I think that can affect the Clock Lancelet are the ones that increase duration and increase um, speed. I don't think duplicator affects it at all. There's so many projectiles. <laughs> um, yeah, let's take armor. We'll need as many things as possible to upgrade. The Bone Zone is still such a funny name for a, for a stage, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because of how many enemies, how many skeleton enemies there are in the game. So ideally, I'd like to at least get one of the two things upgraded. Um... Cool down, base speed. I think we upgrade the Lancelet. Because ultimately, how we're going to really be surviving this is by freezing enemies as quickly as possible. So we can just kind of run through. kind of what my strategy is right now. I don't really have... These things are hard to kill. Unfortunately, my, uh, my king's, king's bible is not quite uh, up the snuff to just mow these things down. Oop. Oop. Great, we're getting into the bone dogs now. So 
So I believe there is a chance to actually get bone naturally, but it is a very small chance. Shoot. Got greedy. I was trying to get a little bit of XP. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's any actual um, meat in this, uh, shoot, in this, uh, stage. Because, I mean, it's the bone zone. Meat isn't allowed. Which is why we're playing as Mortasio. Jesus. Okay, great. Love taking unnecessary damage. Where, where is this thing? Man, there's just so many. Um, yeah, we'll take... Oh, come on. That thing didn't touch me. Get. Random Reaper, because why not? Um, oh, eh, no, we don't want lightning ring. Um, bone. I think we need to take this chest, even though it'd be nice if we didn't have to. These, uh, knife soldiers, or whatever they are, are starting to get faster. Okay. Gotta avoid the big enemies, because they will wreck our shit. Pod shot it everywhere. I don't know if pod shot is the correct term for that, but we're getting unnecessary damage. How about that? Oh, yay! I guess walk through the, the white dragon. The white Durgan. In a, a lot of the old Final Fantasy games, um, the dragons didn't have enough characters, so you just call them. So they, it would look like it was just uh, Dur Durgan or something. That was like the the ground dragon. Their name. Or at least that's what it kind of looked like. Okay. 
Um, let's take bone. Where the money? Tempting, but gotta just avoid enemies. Really, all you can do when when your weapons aren't cutting it, just gotta weave and dodge, dodge, dodge and weave. We're a ways away from that. Use the clock lancet to your advantage. Shoot. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to... Are you kidding me? God, I hate when... Enemies like just nick you and take a, a bit of health. Problem is, I can't stop. If I, if I stop, I'm going to die. <laughs> these enemies aren't dying fast enough to. Oh, you dick. 30 seconds away. Alright, well, we tried. So, alright. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.